are you a good cook? Am I a good cook? Are you a good cook? <sighs> that's 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 a tough question to answer because I'm the only one who eats my food. So the oh, fact that's, that's funny. The fact that I eat it is a good sign. So I know how to cook. Um, I can follow a recipe. I mean, would you not eat it? Would like is that a is that a possibility that you wouldn't eat it if it if it wasn't good? Like your uh, like your oatmeal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, yeah, I have, I have thrown. That's a good callback. I have thrown out food I have cooked before because I just like it. I, I, you know, one of I think one of them was I put too much lemon in. I don't remember what I was cooking, but you know, like they put measurements in there for a reason. Sometimes guys are like, no, I'll just do this. It'll be fine. And no, it's not fine. It was, it was one of those. Like it was a flavor that was just too overpowering and disgusting. But I would say. Compared to other people, no, I am not a good cook. But for myself, yeah, I'm a pretty decent cook. I know how to cook. I, I enjoy cooking for the most part. I like eating what I cook. Um, but I couldn't, like, I need a recipe. I couldn't just take a bunch of ingredients and go, I'll figure something out like I'm Gordon Ramsay. Right. But um, I appreciate good cooking. My buddy Chris and uh, his wife Carly are phenomenal cooks. So, Chris, get a load of this. The three of us used, the three of us used to work together. And there was this thing called Meal Pal. Oh, I remember. I remember, remember Meal Pal. Pal? It yeah, was I remember like, Meal Pal. It was Pal. like $20 a week, and you could get like three three or four meals like on a Sunday or like on, a, on, a, on, a, on an app. You go and pick it up, and it's like a regular portion of food. It was good. But prices went up, and I was losing cash. So I'm joking with Chris. I was like, Chris, I would literally pay you guys to cook me lunch every single day. So you got your own. You got your pal. Yeah. I, your pal. I called it the C2 meal plan. It was the Chris and Carly meal plan. So mm -hmm. what they would do, they would cook me lunch and bring it in every single day. I was like, Carly would text me in the morning. It's like, by the way, your your lunch is this. I know you have dietary restrictions, so I didn't add this. It's all good. And it was fucking amazing. It was the best. I miss it so much. I would still do it. I would still pay them. I would walk down to their house every single day for food. I would pay them to do it every single day. Well, it's not a uh They're great cooks. It's not a bad idea <laughs> if you have if you have friends that are willing to do that. I mean, dude, honestly, I would now and then Chris will call me like, "Yo, what are you doing Friday night making pizza? Come over." The guy makes his own dough from scratch. The guy makes his own pizza from scratch. It's phenomenal. So, in comparison to them, I am a trash cook. But Christian, you strike me as someone who can cook. Um, eh, maybe well, not. Well, let me tell you this. I'm not, kind of as you said, I'm not a come in there and just explore. I have ideas. Yeah. And when I do cook, it turns out really well. Yeah. The thing is, I'm the type of guy who starts off with a recipe. And then once I've done that recipe, I know what I want to change. I want to. I know what I want to modify. Yeah. I. I. It personally baffles me that there are bad cooks out there, um, because all you got to do is follow instructions. Yeah, like it's not hard. It really isn't hard. I remember when I, when I first graduated college and I moved out. You know, I cooked a lot of pasta because that's the only thing I really knew how to cook. It was pasta, some veggies in the pan, some like meat sauce, and then I put it all together and I had food for a few days. It was great. It's, um, not, it's not. It's not rocket science. Some people really have a hard time making good food. And yeah. It's like just, just follow the instructions. I I googled like easy recipes and like I bookmarked them and I pull up on my phone. I still have those bookmarks actually. Of food I don't cook anymore because now I do um, I do dinnerly the delivery food box. So I got I got like three meals in my fridge, right now just waiting to be cooked, and they last. They're two portions, so I usually have leftovers, and it's it's good. It's fifty bucks a week, and. If you're, if you're out there and you don't know how to cook and you want to learn how to cook, do a meal delivery like a HelloFresh, a Dinnerly, um, a one I can't remember the name of because I, I used it, but I go back and forth. But Dinnerly is probably the cheapest one for the most variety. It's personally, they don't, they're not a sponsor, but I love them. And I use them. They're great. Yeah, I, I don't, it's, uh, yeah, I, I, I thought Mill Pal was good, but it was one of those things where I kept not fulfilling it and I was wasting my money. <laughs> oh no! I used it all the time. I worked. I worked in the city every day. Well, the thing was, and, and so did I. It's just like I was. I was working so hard. Yeah, <laughs> I was skipping meals. Yeah, and it's like okay, it's one thing to skip a meal, and you know, you skip a meal, and you're like, okay, I mm -hmm. saved money today. Mm -hmm. No, you didn't save money no. today. You, you you lost nutrients. <laughs> yeah, you lost nutrients <laughs> and you lost money because you paid for that. You paid for that meal, pal. Either way. Yeah, dude. There have been times like I got a dinnerly order, 
and I ended up throwing out the last meal because I just didn't cook it in time. I just, this got either got lazy or I got too busy. Like you said, I was working so hard, I was skipping meals. Um, cause I I work through lunch every single day. I don't eat lunch. 